Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Real Talk with Customs podcast. I'm your host, Jovan Johnson. Earlier this year, Jamaica Customs Agency Commissioner Velma Ricketts Walker publicly declared war on those who seek to import illegal guns into Jamaica. Now, matching that declaration, there appears to be an even greater focus on border protection initiatives at Customs, which has resulted in major guns, ammunition, and drug seizures at Customs controlled areas. These gains have largely been linked to a greater use of border protection technologies, the use of intelligence, and risk management techniques. So on this episode of Real Talk with Customs, we'll be talking with some of the war generals, some of the key persons behind the systems designed to protect Jamaica's borders. I have with me now Otmar Richards, the Acting Director of Risk Management. Thank you so much for joining me, Thanks, Otmar. Otmar. Your Thanks name gave me a little bit of challenge there. <laughs> uh, what is risk management? Well, um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to add to what you said earlier that risk management has become a big word as it relates to Jamaica Customs of lately. So risk management is pretty much um, assessing what's taking place in our environment and finding the most suitable solution to mitigate whatever um, negative impact that may affect um, your outputs. So no yeah, point. so if you look, if you look at, um, take for example, the 80-20 rule, it says 80% of Y derives of the 20%. So um, we're looking pretty much, risk management is looking at the 20% to see if you can fix that yeah. to adjust what is going on with your 80%. Why is there a need for a risk management branch then? I mean, um, pretty much because we, I am um, in your earlier interview from my, my team member from intelligence said that they are the, That's Roche McLean you're talking McLean, about, yes. they told you that they are the information hub. We pretty much perform as an operational hub. We help them to create an operational harm of what goes on with JCA. So we are pretty much relevant because we help to identify on an operational level, what risks are available in the JCA, what risks are affecting the JCA, and so best we can fix it. Because um, JCA cannot be one who pretty much looks at trade facilitation. The Jamaica Customs Agency, yes, JCA. Jamaica Customs, JCA. Um, we are primary focus with trade facilitation, optimizing revenue and, and border security. And we lend our support more mainly to border security. So you have to fix what is going on over there. And that's what risk does. That's our primary purpose of being evident in Jamaica Customs so, Agency. So uh, the benefits that accrue to the Jamaica Customs Agency would be like what? what, what how, um, how do you see? Proper trade facilitation measures. We, 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 we have more compliant importers, compliant traders, and um, we want to sell it compliant because if you are non-compliant, then you are going to forever have a problem. So if you are compliant, the benefit is um, risk branch will assist you in, in, in executing your cargo at a speedier process and a speedier way. Because if you are compliant, it means that you will have everything in good standing and risk management will not need to interface with you or interact with you at all. Mm -hmm. So how, uh, with risk, usually I, I hear risks and mitigation of risks. Um, you mean you have management. What are some of the ways that you try to mitigate risks um, in the, in the, in, from the branch? What we do is we, we, we set profiles. So if we think, for example, a particular importer is having a, um, a challenge with compliance, we create a red flag for them. So it means then that you're going through a more rigorous um, examination at the ports. Oh, so you're responsible for the delays sometimes. That no, 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 that's what is said. Account. That is oh. what is said. But if you are, and, and that's why I gave you the I'm caveat. Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's why I'm I gave sorry. you the caveat. <laughs> yes. If you are non-compliant, you're going to have a problem. If you are compliant, you won't have a problem. So we set the profiles and the operational harm of JCA, Jamaica Customs Agency, then adopts whatever mitigating um, whatever suggestion we give to them. So you may hear some people talk about a red lane, a yellow lane, a green lane. If you're compliant, you will go green. If you're going red, you, 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 have a little, you have a bigger problem. If you go yellow, you have a smaller amount of problem. Mm -hmm. um, and what else in the benefits accrue you? So in, um, in terms we, of we, the we, trade? We, we partner with, 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 with other agencies and, and, and lend support to them too. Um, we pretty much try to, to, to adopt this trade facilitation mechanism. So in the trade facilitation mechanism, what we do is we help to create, to, to advance this authorized economic operator program, the AEO. So with risk, what we do is we help to, to, to create an avenue, as I said, for smooth clearance, easy clearance. So when you're on, a, on that program, you won't have that, 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 that problem that people say they have now with risk, that they, 
goods not coming out as quickly as possible. That's our program. So I'm selling that one as, as, as a big benefit and we help to push that benefit. Yes. So if you are compliant, that's essentially what I'm selling. And um, the other thing too is that we, we, we help to increase based on what is going on in the international sphere. While, while Roche says that they sit and they do a more um, data analysis of the imp interpreting the data, we interpret what is going on at a local level. So if, for example, an a, a importer may come with, with, with falsified documentation, we then do our backing to see how far this false, falsified document, documentation has been going and then employ what is called the post-clearance audit mechanism. So we work in in tandem with post audit so that we then refer the cases to them for them to do what they need to do. So, so, the, so the risk profiles are different, I imagine, from the different ports. So you have the airports, the seaports, and, um, and, and, and so uh, not, no, there, There's not much deviation because we try to do what is similar for cargo and for passenger. Ah, okay. But the, the airport itself has its own uh, paradigm of how they operate. Right. But everything still goes the same. So as I said, I told you about the green, the yellow and the red, that doesn't speak specific to passenger right, right now. It speaks specifically to cargo. Right. And on that note, thank you very much, Atma. Really, really interesting talking with you. And I'm looking forward to the benefits, especially for us coming in at the airports. Thank you. Otma Richards, the acting director for risk management branch at the Jamaica Customs Agency, talking with me on our podcast, Real Talk with Customs. I'm Jovan Johnson. <laughs>